Okay. Now remember, everything that you do if you're working our core, which these bands directly hit, is going to help you with everything in life. Getting the mail, bending over to pick up your grandkids, moving around to pick up your own kids. Any, anything core stability is the name of the game, and that's what we're trying to work on here. Uh, why don't we do some abs? Just finish okay. up with a little bit of abs. All right, so first we'll start with the in and out. You're going to put your hands facing the front on the ground. Okay. You're going to come in, and we're going to go out so the bands work. There we go. Now, can you explain a little bit about how the bands are adding to this? Uh, yeah. Basically, when you add resistance to your legs, your lower abs and your core are firing so much more. Your core is not just about a six-pack down the middle. You have all kinds of muscles that go around your whole midsection that help you balance and work better in anything you do. So by flexing these bands out wide, you're flexing all these muscles in your legs and through your bottom half. The top two abs are always very easy to hit. So by using these bands, you're going to fire them lower four that are so tough to get much easier. Good. Yeah, pretty good. Let's move on to a, this is a little bit of a beginner one, but we're going to crunch and split with our knees. Good. Hands behind the head or you want them out here? Wherever you feel comfortable. Normally yeah. some people like to have their hands on their head because of their neck, to support their neck, which is fine. And if you don't have any neck problems, just go ahead and crunch normal. You feel that pretty good. Yep. And now when you do these, you want to try and work the bands as much as possible. So you want to split them out wide. They're good. Now let's go into a scissor. You want to turn sideways so the camera can see you. Good. You want to put your hands under your butt for a little low back support. Yep. You want out scissor here? Nope. We're going to have our legs out straight. Down. Yep, legs straight, really flex them bands, good. Now the scissor is one of the, mo the biggest ones that you can feel a complete difference with or without the bands. How are your lower abs feeling? They're tight. Good, good. Really getting good action. I think we're testing the coach a little bit here. All right, put your feet on the ground, take a quick break. You get a good burn there? Yeah. Let's roll it on over to the oblique. Give the middles a section or yeah. a little bit of rest. Yep, so now you're going to Crunch the oblique and you're going to lift one leg. Let's put the bands to work again. We're not going to go very high, right? Yep, you're going to take this hand down. You're going to put this hand down in front of you. And we're going to kind of, you can put this wherever you want, but you're going to crunch up just like that. Good. The more you can take basically your shoulder to the back part of your butt, the more we're going to work our oblique. Feel that real good in your obliques. Another point here with the toe. You never want to roll your toe out because, again, we're not hitting the right muscle groups. If we stay turned like this, it's going to run down. We're going to fire our glutes as well as our obliques. So if I'm up here, I'm sort of cheating. Right. You're getting more of a thigh exercise, and we don't want that for this exercise. Okay. Good. Why don't you roll over? Get the other side. It's real easy to try to warn, try to twist back instead of really. Right. Hitting right there. Hey, you want to shift your butt forward a little bit. Kind of cheating on me a little. There we go. There. I'm getting tired. Now I crunched? Good. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's much. Much more of the oblique. Good. Give me about 10 more. Good. Now, again, see as it gets tired, this toe rolls up, sure just does. as many people will. So as you get tired, cut the reps off. Just take a break. We want to do things right so we don't get hurt. Good, take a break. How are we feeling? How's the heart rate on the abs? Check it here. One more away. Late. Let's go. We're at a good calorie burn. Just trying to test the coach out a little bit here. Let's, let's get a little more advanced on this one. Now we're going to do the scissor kick, but we're going to add a crunch to it. Okay, so we'll go ahead. So we're going to come here. Go in there. Here. Oh. Now these are going to get you quick. So if you can challenge it all with these. Definitely just do at least 10 and take a break. We want to maintain form. That's good burn. Pretty good burn right there. All right, watch you stand up. Now that's just a basic, basic routine. If we were going to do that, we'd do that for probably 30 minutes or so so we could get a good fat burn. But as for now, you know, we just kind of want to test him out and see where he's at, and we'll continue with more videos as workouts come.